we're on. Oh, I was off in space land. I know. Sometimes I get <laughs> off in space land. All right. Well, welcome back. It is Wednesday, January, uh, February 5th, 2014. It is. It's February 5th. Boy, that, sh that sure seemed to go by quick, didn't it? I know. It's All crazy. right. So if you're out there in uh, Morgan Hill, which is probably where you're watching us from, you're watching Nerd News Now. Yep. And this is a show where Bob and I and Larry Talbot and sometimes Teresa Widdowson just basically talk about technology and the different things that we've seen throughout the week. And that's why we call it Nerd News Now, because it's news from nerds. And we just talk about technology or science. I like to check out science stuff or yeah. whatever comes to mind. We also like alliterations and acronyms. Mm -hmm. So we thought, wouldn't it be great to have a show called n n n n n n n <laughs> so that's what we're at. That's what you're watching. And uh, this is probably our 30th episode, Bob. Uh, we've it been, may be, yeah. Yeah, we've been airing. <coughs> how long have you been while. airing? Well, we did. How long did we do WordPress Wednesday? Oh. We did that quite a while. We've probably been doing this for probably about six months. Yeah. At wow. least. Six times four is 24. Even more than that, because Longer we took that, so maybe yeah. eight months now. So yeah, that's pretty good. That's just pretty ridiculous. Good and uh, if we could just get a sponsor for the show, I think everything would be a lot better, wouldn't it? <coughs> would be great. All right. Well, do you have anything spe uh, specific that you were looking at today that you thought you might want to share with the? You know, I had a few things that I just kind of, um, you know, when I'm during the week just messing around, I actually created a folder for myself so if I find something interesting uh -huh. I just mail it to myself and the subject of beginning is NNN NNN mm. and what did you find out and there? so I just send all kinds of stuff and then I weed through and see um, there's one I found kind of interesting this guy puts videos up and actually I think if you want to go to my what this one is called it's for Undoing sent emails. Have you seen that? I don't even know what that means. What does that mean to undo a sent email? Well, what it is essentially is it says, you know, if you're sitting there and you're pissed off at somebody and yet send them up, and then a couple seconds later, oh, I shouldn't have sent that to So them. it's like calling back an email, huh? It's calling back, uh, but actually what it is, if you want to jump on my... Um, okay, I'll pull yours up right now. <clears throat> Computer, so you're in this. This works for Google or Gmail. Okay. So I don't know if you can do it to other people, but you go up here under your settings, and click settings. Click settings here, and you're going to see here's all the uh, top items across your top menu, and you go to the one that's called Labs, and you scroll down, and you can see. Um, you know, I've got different, they have all kinds of little things that you can use in your Gmail and, and programs. And I've got Google Maps previews in mails. So if somebody has a link to a Google Map, um, you know, it'll, it shows up in my email. But here's one called Undo Send. And I have it in, enabled. And what's cool about Gmail is like I clicked it at home and it pops up here. On my, uh, so because it's the same. It's the same account. It's working the cloud, so so you don't have to go to every computer and click it. You know, so. But in reality, what it is is it is a. This says a few seconds, but I think it's thirty seconds. So what it does is you hit send. It just delays sending it for like thirty seconds or uh. fifteen seconds. So. It's not like you can go back the next day and undo it because they've already read it and you've lost your job or whatever. Well, if that. you think that's cool, let me show you something I've got. You want to jump on the, um, can you control the Yeah, let me get it here real quick. Um, it'll just take me a second. Oops, <coughs> I've got to figure this out. Okay, no. so I'm going to show you what, what I've got. Um, I've got a system called Boomerang. 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 And now is that a um, is it a, a labs thing or is it, it actually? It is a labs thing, yeah. But uh, it's kind of like what you said, delay for thirty seconds. But mine is so 
Well, the, what the intent is, if you ever get an email from somebody, like on a specific topic, you mm -hmm. can boomerang that email. You can sweep it out right back out. Um, that's the theory. Or like, for example, if I sent an email and then they replied, I can boomerang a, a, like an auto response. Hey, thanks for your reply. I'll get back to oh, you. Okay. Things like that. So but I, that's not how I use it. The way I use it is I click compose new message and I say, Bob Snow, there's your email. And I'm going to say, hope you're having a good birthday. When's your birthday? Uh, is it this month? Another five months. Okay, let's say it's, let's say it's uh, on Friday, okay? Yeah, Friday. So I'm going to go ahead and it says boomerang this. And it's going to ask me when I want to boomerang it. Okay. And I'm going to change it to... Oh, okay. Uh, let's do on the 7th, and let's send it at 2 in the afternoon. Okay. I click Confirm. And then let's give a little message. Hey, Bob. Here's the boomerang. And I click Send. And it's not sent. It says your message has been sent. View message. Let's go and see if I can find it in Boomerang. Oops, right here, Boomerang out box. Oh, OK. Hey. You know what? There was up? a button I noticed. There was Send and Send Later. Oh, I messed up. See, I could have really screwed that one up, huh? So see, let's try that one up. a little Send Later. So that's okay. probably the button. This is, I'll put, this is the real birthday real. wish. Hola. Okay, so I do, oh, I say boomerang. I put it on at 2 p.m., confirm, and I click send later. Aha. Uh -huh. Your send message must, what is this, what? Confirm, what did it say? Your send later message must be scheduled earlier than your boomerang reminder. Oh, I don't want to, oh. This boomerang is a reminder. Ah, so if they don't... Oh, it reminds you that you're sending something? Or? No, like let's say, for example, I sent you a, a message that says, hey, Bob, um, this is what your tasks are for the project. Oh, and right. if you don't reply to me, then I can set this to remind me that, hey, Bob's not replied to you yet. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm just going to click send later. Go ahead and come back to my thing. So I, I'm not supposed to click this boomerang crap. Send later, and then there it is, and I click confirm. And now it's gone, it be but it's in my boomerang out box. See it right there? Oh, the message okay. will be sent Friday at 2 p.m. So it's kind of oh, cool. That's it's, pretty cool. Yeah, you can kind of uh, make people think you're working in the middle of the night, even though you do. Yeah. I yeah. Don't, yeah. <laughs> so, or, you know, one of the things, you mentioned this before about managing expectations from your clients. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like to send clients emails like at 10 o'clock at night, because I don't want them to get used to me working at 10 o'clock at oh, night. Oh, that's, that's a good idea. So yeah. I can boomerang it and have it sent out at 9 in the morning or something yeah. like that. That's a very good idea. I might start doing yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't. So. I, yeah, there you go. So You know what? Actually, here's boomerang. what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, um, let's go to external here. Click on my computer. You're going to do it now? I'm going to. Go to my settings. Um, and it should pop up somewhere. Loading, loading, loading. Uh oh. And labs. Search for a lab boomerang. Hopefully I spelled that right. Um, Search for a lab. Let's see what you search. Search. App search. Multiple inboxes. <clears throat> Nothing boomerang. Hmm. Well, I know I got it. Let's see what a... Let me switch back to... Settings. Us while we're... Um, oh, I was doing the switching back and forth, so they, were, they weren't just looking at you. Hello? I mean, your screen. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I'll I let have, you deal with it. Yeah, go, go ahead and look at uh, um, look for your boomerang. And huh. let's go to... It's popping up. Hmm. 
Oops. We're supposed to be on yours. How did, boy, that's crazy. So you can't find that, huh? You know what? And it's not even showing up Cha. in the... And you, that is where you go. Yeah. So I went. To, you went to con settings. Labs. I don't even have labs on my. Oh, there. there it is. I'm talking to myself now. So I've got add any gadget, app search, auto events, cancel, Flickr, Google Calendar gadget. Oh, that's so I have to search for boomerang. Boomerang. You know, one of the things, though, that's annoying is it's probably spelled completely different than the real spell. I know. But I clicked all labs, and it's not showing. Boomerang. None of the available labs match this search. Huh. I don't know. You think it's Add when they... Boomerang. Don't... To Google. Now, you know... Put what, it out there anymore? Chrome Web Store. Boomerang for Gmail. Oh, it's a oh, it's a Chrome extension. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, so go ahead and do a um. You can go ahead and oh, you're you're in oh, that's it's got to be in, in Chrome. Firefox. Oh, but let me go to Chrome because I actually I was kind I of usually have how. both browsers open because when I'm working, if I'm logged into the site, you can't. Yeah. They automatically set up. So I'm going to go into. Because I noticed that every time I try to use Boomerang, it forces me to log into the Boomerang account. And I'm like, oh. uh, that doesn't quite make sense. But So I'm betting I can't open it when I'm in uh, Internet Explorer then, huh? And you're going into... I wonder if there is... Uh, this is my mail. Okay. Opening. So there's going to see my... Yeah, let me get you back up on there. I'm, I'm, I'm having a good birthday. It says so right here. That's the first that's one. The first yeah. Time. yeah, that one messed up, didn't it? So I, I would have really screwed that one up, huh? Okay, so let's see, though. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to log into my Gmail in Internet Explorer, and I shouldn't have my boomerang available, which kind of seems weird, though, huh? So in Chrome... Wait a second. What? Oh, so the yeah, you're asking so how do you, so so you it's do working it up here? Outside of yeah. The, on the, so I'm going to go to App Store. No, you're going to click on the three little lines to the oh, right. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. And go to Settings. And then in there is like an App Store. Yeah. Extension. Oh, look at that. I don't have the send later in Internet Explorer. <coughs> so let's see if I can show the, the now world. That's one I, I never use Internet Explorer. I know. Anymore. Actually, okay. I think the new Internet Explorer, because I'm still... See, remember I used to have the send later down here? Yeah. And I, I don't even think I have the boomer... Oh, I still have the boomerang outbox. So it's just that interface isn't working. Yeah. So I want to look, search here, search store for Boomerang. Oh, gosh, that's crazy. I don't even know how this stuff works. Boomerang for Gmail. That's it. Now, see, you would think that if it's for Gmail, they would write a version for Firefox. And I think I know, I think I know what, what's the case of this one. I think, and let's get... I think it's easier for someone to write for Chrome a, a, a plugin for Chrome than it is to add something to the Gmail Labs. Oh, okay. And so that's why they did it that way. I, I think it's just a, it's a lot easier because the Google Chrome it's an open um, open system that you can write anybody can write a plugin right. for, but the Google Labs is owned it's by Google. Specific, right. Okay. So it's so. checking. So we'll see if that signed me up or. Now, what was a? Uh, oh, I, I I got the. Are you ready for this one? I'm gonna give you. Well, I'm gonna give the audience an explanation that I gave Rosie about email, and as I was giving this explanation, it kind of made more sense to me than it ever has. So she wanted to move from Outlook to Gmail, 
Oh, okay. And I was trying to tell her that her mail server is um, owned by Google, and it's Google Apps. Okay. And she said, well, is Gmail Google Apps? And I'm like, no. And Gmail is probably is a component of... You know what Gmail is? A, Gmail is exactly the same as Outlook. Gmail and Outlook are simply mail applications that allow you to see the mail on your server. Oh, okay. So it's not actually it's, a client. It's like, like out, you, Outlook uses what? Like an Exchange server or something uh, like that? So or? you can set up Outlook to check your mail through Exchange or IMAP or... Oh, okay. Or POP. Gmail is just always IMAP because it's just always showing you what's on the server. Okay. Um, so it's not that Gmail is your server. Gmail is just a user interface. Just a, oh, okay. And so when I started realizing and that... And I guess that's how you can customize it in Google Apps. You're just putting your on, little image on the... Right. Internet. You're not really messing with the mail server. So um, at once I, I realized that, that Gmail is nothing more than a, a mail client, just like Outlook is. The only difference is it's on the Internet. It's on the web. Okay, it's web-based. Right, right. And uh, so that made a lot more sense to me. Okay, so I installed Did you boomerang it? it? You got boomerang going? Well, but it's not popping up as, oh, I could probably got to restart Chrome. Oh, either that or did you create the account? Um, it didn't. It just said it added it, so I need to create an account. I don't know. Let's open it up. and Because I, every time I use boomerang, it says uh, logging into your account, your boomerang oh. account. So let's go back in there and then see if you have to set up an account in Chrome. And I'm going to bring up your laptop right now. So I'm going back to my inbox. Okay. I can't tell what's slow. Is it our network or our computer? Well, my computer's slow. Ain't that the truth? Anybody wants to donate a computer? <laughs> I can use one, Bob can use one. Yeah, and you know, if you donate a couple of really nice laptops, yeah. your logo could go right here. We will do that for you. And everybody will see that it's your company sponsored this. Go to your, thank you for installing oh. Boomerang. Uh, right there on the bottom, start, yeah. Nope, start. So you're gonna create gonna start a- um, with a tour though, right? Oh, click on, go ahead. Uh, maybe skip it, I guess. I don't know. Try. Do you have Boomerang now in there? I don't see it. As a, uh, it might be down here. No, it would be up here on the top. Let me show people what you're looking at. Um, oh, it's right there. Oh, okay. And now click Compose. And let's see if you got to send later. Oh! So I just had to restart the yeah. Chrome, actually. Okay. Boomerang this in two days. Now, remember, boom, boomerang means... Authenticating. See, that's what it does to me. Uh, boomerang means to... What does that say? Um, I have a pop-up blocker. Oh, yeah. So I need to... Click on that little... Always allow pop-ups. Click on that one yeah. right there. And always allow pop-ups from Gmail. And then refresh the page. Um, so this is probably where I have to sign into an account. It's I, I think it automatically creates your account for you under your email under address. Under email. Um, what was I going to say, though? Oh, boomerang means send you a boomerang response if somebody doesn't reply. That's not what you want. That's what I did wrong. Oh. You want to send later. Oh, I see. Okay. So... Uh, Go ahead and like type to Jim and. Okay, so there's a send. Yeah. I know. I hate these. And then uh, there's a. So you can see at the bottom of Bob's screen, it's got the big red one that says "send later." What he doesn't want to do, and what I kept on doing was I check mark the thing that says "boomerang this." Um, that's so that the, if you click um, boomerang this, when they re reply it, I think what it oh, does. Oh, it sends a cop basically a CC to me when it sends it out. No, I think what it does is, let's say you click boomerang this right, and it says that it's going to boomerang it in two days. 
what will happen is if I don't respond to you, the boomerang, I think, I think Nick, it's... the sentence here. What the hell says, is boomerang? It says boomerang this in two days if no reply. Yeah. Who does it boomerang it to? Let's see. I'm going to be doing a little research on this one. Yeah, it says. Uh, so I clicked on there. Uh oh, who's B4G at baidin.com? Oh. Okay, a boomerang allows you to schedule a message to be sent or returned at a later date. Uh, that okay. must Track messages to make sure you hear back and schedule reminders. So, uh, calendar integrated scheduling. Boomerang also helps you postponing. No. Okay, it says, the service allows you to schedule emails to automatically send in the future. So you can write an email now, and the service will send it tomorrow morning or next week. We knew that one. Boomerang also helps to postpone incoming emails by making them disappear from your inbox into oh, a folder yeah. or label, then bringing them back to the top of the message list at a specified time. Oh, I see. So what happens is, like, you email me, and, and you say... Hey, Jim, uh, on Monday, don't forget we have a meeting. And if you click boomerang this back to me at Monday, then you'll get a message in your inbox, and you'll see that at the top of your inbox. Oh, that you hadn't. Okay. That the email that you sent me will go back to the top of your inbox. <laughs> oh, okay. So that you reminded, oh, I forgot. I, I still got to oh, okay. take action on that one. So I jumped back to us on this. Um, okay, cool. Because I'm getting, yeah, I wanted to authenticate it. So it's using this... Um, It's popping up this other company wanting to, when I clicked on it, to boomerang. It's wanting to use this a third party as, so if I click send later, then click in two days, okay. tomorrow morning. So it jumped up again. And they would like to view and manage your mail, view your email address. Do you remember clicking this? I'm sure this is part of that boomerang thing. Before, that just looks weird, huh? <clears throat> because when I click cancel, then it pops up to another window saying boomerang names. Oh, yeah. I guess you, I did. Okay. So now if I get hacked. It's my <laughs> fault, huh? Login successful, so it is going to Boomerang, that's there. Yeah. So if I go into my Boomerang box then, now you went to, it had a filter. Uh-huh. So you have to at least create a Boomerang. Um, did you create one yet? No. So create one in, in boom, um, create one and schedule meet later. Okay. And you e create an email uh -huh. under Compose. But I need to make a folder over here, right? No, it'll make it for you. So just do something like whatever. And you, what you should see is a folder created for that. So to Jim. And Bob subject. Okay. Boomerang. Let's go with ding, 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 ding. And then, ding, ding. so do I want to boomerang this? In no, two days? just send later. And then do it in one hour or something like that. One hour. And then now on your left hand side, you should oh, have. Boomerang Outbox. Okay. There you go. And there's two of them. Ooh. So it just didn't create it for the first one. That yeah. I oh, there's, there's one that says hello from Boomerang. Isn't that cool? You got an email from them saying hello. What's that? That's, how did they, they, they knew that you logged in. They must have just sent you an email right away. There must be somebody out there waiting for you, waiting for people to. <laughs> to <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's, that's hilarious. Well, here's one. What's that? Um, about getting that strange email. Not even an email. We set up a client, went on there the other day, um, bought their domain name, set up their website, did it all within, you know, pretty quick time. They got a phone call at their business saying, thank you for... I forget what the exact message was when I took it. It was, um, thank you for activating your account. 
and setting up your website. We can help you with SEO, things like that. It wasn't an email to them. It was an actual phone call. What they do? Is they saw that they registered the domain? Um, I actually registered the domain. Oh, oh but they, got, they had a so, website though, right? And we put the website up. So as soon as we did it, it mined that site. And it probably said, oh, here's a new, here's a new website. Boom. Psh, pulled their phone number and called them. That was an automated call? And it, no, I think it was a live person. So it's probably collecting them, and then they got somebody sitting at the other end, you yeah. know, calling. Gosh. And they were like, I have no idea what you're talking about, because they hadn't known that we had actually set it up. You know, I've been getting calls from my insurance company, and they're like, we want you to review your insurance policy. And I said, uh, who is this? And they'll go, this is your insurance company. I said, you know, I've been with you guys for... Uh, I can't even remember, 20 years? You have never called me to review my insurance policy. Yeah, and if they keep saying, it's, we're your insurance company, yeah. it's like, what, what's the name of your... Yeah, uh, well, they, you know, they knew that, but I, yeah. I said, you know what, I'll call you. I'll call you because I know the number I'm calling is your yeah, number. Yeah. And um, I mean, it's just, I, don't, I just don't trust anymore. Anytime somebody calls me and... Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's one thing that I've... I mean, I don't mind telling people, if I don't recognize the phone number, mm -hmm. I usually won't answer it. Yeah. Even if it's local, because I don't know. Because I'm pretty good at, I, if somebody calls me I want to talk to, I put them in my contact, and so I, I know it's them. So. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. Look at what their people were looking at on the screen. What's that? My mug shot. I, oh. wasn't, even, I wasn't even giving them a good shot of both of us. Oh. Oh, wow. Well. What we're doing right now is we are controlling. E, I guess I could try doing this. I'm going to show them what we're doing. This might actually log up the computer. But you want to try oh. it anyways? What's that? Well, I've got, so this is I'm what, running TriCraster as well. This is what I'm seeing on my screen. Oh, okay, yeah. And um, so we've got uh, three cameras, one, two, three. And we've got over here is the computers. So I'm going to switch to Bob's computer right now. Once I do that, you won't see this anymore. You'll see my email. And I'll switch back to my computer. And uh, now I'll switch to camera two. And there you go. So that's what we're doing right now is we're trying to control the production of this show at the same time that we're trying to, to talk. entertain you. Yeah. <laughs> and it is. I know, so sometimes that the screen gets stuck on our computer screen, it's because. We're paying attention to this, not the monitor. Um, it's hard. I mean, there's a lot going on. Yeah. And we're, I'm also looking at the, the sound monitor. And these, d the, what do you call it? The controls uh, are so slow to respond, you'll like increase the sound and then nothing will happen. And but you'll then be all like, of a sudden, yeah, <laughs> and it flies out, off the handle. So uh, you just have to be really delicate with the controls. Uh, right now, I'm having a, a problem with the um, fades. Look at the, the screen. Uh -huh. Oh, that's not that bad. Oh, not too bad. I was uh, having a hard time setting the speed of the fade. Oh, yeah. And it was like going... And then she just go take. So like, let's see if I could show the audience what I'm talking about. So I just changed that and the um, I wanted to just adjust it a little bit, but this is what it did. <laughs> oh, yeah. The slow fade. The slow new, fade. New scene. So I'm going to try to adjust it back, and it's just really hard to adjust these. And so let's see. What do I got in my there you go. emails here? I, can, I did find a cool um, video. I can't show it, though. It's on YouTube, but maybe I'll, next time I'll do it. You could show but it. But it was a picture. Will it show from here? Yeah, yeah, because we, you're on wire now. But I, uh, I've got TriCaster running. You think that'll... We'll try it. Let's see what happens. So if all of a sudden we disappear, you know. It's just got something locked up. Locked something up. Locked so let me see if I can go to. Uh, this is what it is actually is it's some cameras that they had hooked up to the Virgin spaceship or their. X1 or something like that? Yeah. This thing here. Um, should be open. 
maximize that screen. See it's what their third powered flight. Okay, it looks like it's coming through fine. And it's about four minutes into it. Let's, uh, well, it looks like your computer's just slow. Yeah. It's trying to do too many things here, but... You got sound on it? Yes. But the volume is low. So they're just inspecting this thing, but this is a, uh, you know, it's not NASA, it's not a government, it's actually Richard Branson. Yeah. So they're going to be, yeah, selling seats in this thing to take people. I've heard they've already sold seats. Oh, I'm sure they've. They've pre-sold them. But this was the pictures of their first, their third flight, I guess. Yeah, it's just slow computer. Yeah. Well, I'll tell so you. So that was fun. You want to see something I got? Yeah. Speaking of YouTube videos, can you control the, control the TriCaster? Yeah, let me get out of this YouTube thing. Dude. I found this site, and I was pretty stoked about it. It's um, it's just a blog post, ten YouTube tricks you should all know about. Okay, so I'm gonna. Oh, like, I. I Saw a link to this, but I didn't go look at it yet. Yeah, so view high-quality videos, eh, right? No big deal. Right. Embed high-quality videos. Oh, that's kind of cool, right? Yeah, and so, I've embedded videos and stuff. That's pretty But this one, this one forces the high-quality to show on your oh, site. Oh, okay. So that's nice. Uh, cut the chase and link to the interesting part. So you could embed a video, but have it oh. start at a very specific time. Oh, that's cool. In that? So you just pop that little piece of code in the embed code. Uh-huh. Okay. Ready for this one? Only embed part of the video. Oh. Isn't that cool? Now, is that... I wonder if... I wonder what... Uh, I'm going to switch back to us. Uh, now, that one there, what do you think... These are like a third-party... People have come up with these tricks, right? Um, no, they're they're all. Um, what do you call those parameters that you pass to right. Google? But I mean, do you think Google or YouTube? YouTube. What yeah. do you th think they think about it? Because essentially, you could cut out commercials. You know, I would bet that you couldn't. I bet you that, like, for the example, the commercial still probably plays on yeah, top of it. I bet you that's done a little differently. Yeah. But if it's a commercial thing, like um, sometimes I do links and it's from the you know. MIT, and they've got their opening thing. This is a video of MIT, blah, blah, blah. So you could cut that part out. Yep. Now, that's pretty cool. Let's go back. Then, to then you got the autoplay, which is, okay, that's, that's okay. Yeah. Loop an embedded video. That's kind of cool. Kinda and then the same bypass YouTube region, for the app, all that stuff. A down, no, the download the video is nothing. So, so I like the embed part of a video, but wait. That's very cool. So it, it's... Cut the chase and link to an interesting part. So that one you would say, all you have to do is Instead of telling somebody, you know, open it up and then go to three minutes. That's where the funny stuff happens. To the end of the URL. Okay, so that's, that's that one. But this one says, embed only part of the video. Just append and start equals 30 to skip the first 30 seconds of the video. Oh, so it's just, oh, that's just a, th a second. You can't, yeah, so it's, what, well, what's the first one do? What if you put in 60 instead of 30? It would, it would skip the first 60 seconds. Right, so I mean, that, that number is the... Um... Well, what is the difference between cutting the chase and link to the interesting part? Linking a video where the real action starts at 3 minutes and 22 seconds. What if you can make it start at 3.22? All you have to do is add time yeah. equals 3.22 to the end of the URL. And embed only part of the video. Just embed, append, and start equals 30 to skip the first 30 seconds. In general, you can modify the value after start to equal the number of seconds you want to skip the video for. I don't know the difference between those two. Yeah. Let's, let's try it. So let's get a YouTube video. YouTube. What's that video called that you got? Um, X. Uh, oh. Virgin. Okay, I don't know. Air flight. Virgin Air flight. That's what I called it on my email. Oh. That's what you called it. 
So it's called uh, X1, Spaceship 2, Spaceship 2. Okay, Spaceship 2. Okay, so here's the video, probably the one that you were talking about. It's yeah, 2 minutes and 52 seconds long. So let's go ahead and start at... Okay, notice this has an advertisement too. So you need to embed it. Okay. So we're going to... Let's go blue marquee slash slash... Is there anything more American than America? All right. So now we're going to skip this ad. And we'll, let's start at... 140. Okay. So we're going to start at 140. And I think I just get share. Do I have to embed, embed it? Yeah. Right here. Log in here. Oh, and I guess then I'll I'll, it I already have a bunch of embedded videos. Add new post. And I'll put it right in here. Oops, hello. Okay, iframe, video, frame, allow full screen. I don't think that's what we want to do. I think we want to do... Well, I think you pull that little, you add that code that's from the other site. Yeah, I think we just go like this. Like start. You just do share video right here. And then we do and. Um, so let's go. 140, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do it two ways. There's that one right there. But that's not embedding it. That's just sending it. Well, it is. WordPress does will automatically it translate YouTube videos. Oh, it automatically embed it. Yeah. So let's go look at this embed code though. Source embed. Let's put it here, right there. So that's what you're talking about, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's go visual. Now that was going to start it at. Let's do three twenty something. Oh, thank you. We want at one forty, right? One minute and 40 seconds. And this one, we want this to be one minute and 40 seconds. All right, Bob. So Save just putting the title on for um, the. OK. Um, so just putting the title, or I mean the URL from YouTube, WordPress will automatically turn it oh. into embedded code. Look at that. So. So look at both of the videos are here. Yeah, see how one of them. The down below, I didn't specify the size. So oh that's, right, that's okay. how. Um, but both of them are starting at that one. Minute. That's that spot. That's they're both exactly that spot. So let's just play it. And it's, let's see if it gets in. Oh, that sucks. Nope, that one started at the same. What about the other one? Okay. Hello. That one worked. So that one worked, and that was the bottom code. Uh huh. So that was the one. <clears throat> That's kind of you know, weird. I bet, I bet you it's just where you place source that tag that you paste it in there, the, the time code or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, that's weird. I bet you that it depends where that's at. Where did it say that you were supposed to place it? It didn't say. So I wonder if it's it's if it's before the U R the source chunk. I can't. Am I think okay. I'm gonna like talk out of my butt on this one. So because it previewed it at that point. No, I think I'm, I'm gonna say I I bet you that right here. Then I'll, I'll do this one again. Let's do it. I think that's the preview period. Oh. But it did start playing it. That bottom one. Let's see. Okay, I've got it. I've got it in three different ways. Let's go ahead and do a. Let's just publish it so I can see it. Okay. So let's see what this looks like. The first one has... That's the first one. That's the embed code you got from YouTube. Yeah, this is the second one. Oh, that, so no, that just, that is the, that's the picture. That's the generic picture that they chose. Every video has a picture. Oh, okay. It just, it's not a... So, because this one right here, I didn't put any time. So this is going to start at zero. Okay. Okay, so it's not the picture. So the thing that I'm thinking about is when you use an iframe code, notice how, see how it says height is 315 with, right. their past is um, attributes. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
So when you do an iframe, you use attributes. So this is what I would probably do. Time. Oh, or did it say start? Um, yeah, that's right. So we start. Start equals 30 seconds. Start equals, and let's do, uh, it would be Actually, I'm going to do time because I, I'm just going to try to copy this one. 100 would be at 140. Zero, 01 minutes 40 seconds. Is that the right? That's a zero. I think this, so when you're using an, imb, an imb, uh, okay. iframe, you have to use attributes. When you're using a URL, you pass a string. So let's see what this does. So they both should start at 140. That's my theory. That's but, the theory. But I'm guessing on the attribute, by the way. I don't know if the attribute's really called time. So let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, so, so there's the first one. There's the second one. First one? That's embedded. Yes. That did not work. That didn't work. We know this one does work, though. It just jumps right there. So the, the bottom one worked. The top one... <clears throat> what about t start? Start. Let's try that. But I think the start one used seconds, like 30. Oh, yeah. Or something that didn't have the time. Let me... Because one of them is using minutes and seconds. Right. And the other one was just seconds. Okay, I'm going to test this one real quick, and then we'll go back and fix that one. Nope. And then... Try just putting in... 60 plus 40 is 100. Yeah, 100. And how did they say to say it? It was start equals 30. Yeah. Okay. And... I've had a problem this with where, where you have to find out what's the attributes that you would use. <coughs> No. no so let's go with um, um, so using YouTube the iframe attributes. Let's see what somebody... YouTube <coughs> player, IP, API reference for iframe embeds. Wow, did you even know that that existed? Jeez Louise. Uh, say that again? YouTube player, I, API reference for iframe. Query functions, playback... Retrieving video information, adding an even listener, playback controls, and player settings. Player, pause video, stop video, stop and cancels loading of the current video. Oh, seek to. Seeks to a specified time in the video. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what this does. So if I did... Player.seek.2... I don't even so I don't even know how to use this to be honest with you. So player dot seek to and I go I don't even know what the colon void means, but let's Oh no. Are, is your brain broken right now? Because mine is <clears throat> just about is this is really hard. So I'm gonna copy this and do it again so I can um not lose that. So, so seconds. Okay, so source. <coughs> so what we're going to do is player seek to seconds, and then in where it says number, I would put a hundred. Player seek to see. I, I'm thinking that I have to put it in quotes because everything else is in quotes. Seconds colon one hundred, comma allow seek is. I, I'm going to say true for. But there's no commas between the other I know attributes let's let's just see what this does player dot seek to equals seconds I don't know it would be nice to have somebody that knew what they were doing on this stuff huh yeah okay but although um, at least we got one of them let working me click on this so to so what we're doing right now is we're just messing with this stuff to play it. And that's what 
We do most of the time. That's our life. Let's look around. You know, but I mean, and, but that's what's cool about the internet and this stuff is you can, there's all this reference stuff out there. So if you're sitting at home and you want to try to figure out how to do something, you can do a search, look it up, and then just keep playing with it. So let me, um, oh, shoot. Shoot. this is what sucks when you, uh, are testing videos is all of a sudden they all start playing. <clears throat> so this is, I don't think that's what I wanted. I, so did it work? No. No. Uh, you, YouTube embed players and parameters Google. Okay, I don't want something that says developers. <laughs> I just want something that says <laughs> for idiots. Uh, W3 valid YouTube iframe embeds. That sounds like a... That might work. There we go iframe height source frame border perfect editing iframe editing iframe blah 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 where's the list of valid ones well, identify the following error yeah i don't think they're showing actual oh. well that just bites all the different variables or attributes yeah Allow for oh. iframes are missing title attributes. Changing the loading in iframe source. Stupid embedder tricks. That's uh, that's what number I should two. be. Number two. Stupid embedder oh. tricks. <laughs> that's where I'm at. And that was number two. So is that? Okay. With <clears throat> source frame border. Just because it makes generate HTML code shorter and easier to handle. Look, at, you can always use percent video, whatever the mat that means. Source frame border, YouTube V, recognize, div class, holy moly. Oh, look, wait, source. Isn't this what we tried? Embedded. We tried to put that stuff right there and it didn't work, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> That's not right. Although it should have worked. embedding looks like it's, yeah. I, that sh so we know th this one worked, right? This pound? That's the one that did work, right? Yeah. Let's kill this. This is like worthless. Let's kill this. We know that that one works. And let's go ahead and do this one. And let's kill. So what is that? T equals T zero equals one minutes and 40, 40 seconds. seconds, right? Yeah. This should work. And because the source is right, it's shown the source. embed. <clears throat> What yeah. if I take this embed out? What if I just did this and put this? Well, I don't want to lose that one. What if I did this and put this, which we know works, and put that as the source? Update. Mm -hmm. I'd say the hardest thing about so this type of work is getting people to pay you to do this. <laughs> <laughs> And I've done a pretty good job at it because I think my clients know that when I do find the tricks, the next time I need it to do it for them, they, I, they don't have to pay for it again. Okay, so there's two of them. Is that how many I was expecting? I was actually expecting three. What happened? That one didn't show up. You know what? The other ones don't have HTTP. One. And your second one does. Two. Before the slash slash. Right. Oh, but the bottom one has. Let's, let me see which one's not showing up. I can't tell if which one's got the problem. It looks like the second one had the problem, right? That's what it looks like. <clears throat> so three. Yeah. One is good. Two, yeah, two. Two, there's a problem with two. Okay, iframe source. Dub, dub, dub. www. Dot uh, Dot, and then it's, you've got the slashes. And he, they want a slash slash. Okay. I'm betting that'll work. I'll bet you a, a beer of roses. Ooh. <laughs> I have not heard Bob invoke the beer test. I, I'm going to bet that it won't, but um, oh. I'll take you on that beer bet. Okay, so first of all, I screwed up something. Um, but they look almost identical. It's looking at the code, is it's going through pretty quick. So what's the difference between the two? Oh, 
This one says YouTube.com. See, this, this one doesn't have that in bed. But the other one that says YouTube dot what? See, this yeah, it said B. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, that's a beer. All right. All right. Let's see what I got going on. Um, I don't. I I would say I don't know if I can get this to work because I don't really understand the embed codes. Right there, it's at least it's showing. So something. one, one and two are exactly the same. No. Nope, no. Not working. And what's weird is how does, how does, what does this program know? How does it know what to do with this <laughs> URL? I don't know. I mean, it must be doing some form of embed. Is there any other way to embed? <clears throat> is, unless like you said, maybe it's part of WordPress. Watch this, oh wow, watch this. Use it old embed code. Okay, so now let's oh. go here. I'm gonna put this under four. And for the people out there in the audience, the reason why I'm doing this one, two, three, four is so I remember where I'm at. Which ones, yeah. Okay, so we got this value, and let's add this value to it. See, these are all the parameters. All right. H1 equals English, and version three. But it's also calling up, you know, Shockwave and all this. Oh, yeah. I don't even know what the hell is stuff. going on. I can't even figure this out. So what if I just did that? And, and it's got throw. two sources in there. I don't understand. Why. I, I used to... Okay, so at least I tried something. Um, I don't think this is going to do it. Four. There's four. At least it's giving me something. Okay. Point it. Did it jump? No. Nah. No. Nope. Well, at least we um, did get to get, make it work. We got it to jump um, that with one of the embed codes. And that was the first one, right? Just using basic WordPress. So let's look at that first one to the code and see what it is that made it work. Well, it's it's what we didn't use is embed codes. We just used the URL and added that parameter at the end. Oh, I thought it was the first one that worked. No. So let's go ahead and test one more thing. We saw how to make it start at that time. Let's let's do start 30 or and what did we say 60 plus 40 is 100 100 so let's try that one and then that'll be the last thing that we pull off but that's and using start minute equals and 100 does that make sense yeah this should be the exact same thing that we just saw it's just done in a different way it should still start it at should be yeah but i that's what's kind of is silly to me is why would you need to do it two different ways oh look at that it didn't even like it well the other one it was did it say start equals uh, no, it the was other, t yeah equals. the other one was a different format so it didn't like it it doesn't like that word start and start equals 30 but it, it did like oh it's got an s at the end where on their example. Oh, no, it doesn't. Never mind. Never mind. And this one right here. Where did the... There's a start equals 30. That's embed part of a video. Cut to the chase. All you have to do is add pound time equals to the end of the URL. That's weird how... Just a pin and start... Oh! Watch this one. That's an ampersand start. Did we have that in there? Mm -mm. I haven't done that one yet. What if we put that on the embed code? Yeah, it was ampersand start, and we just had start. Oh, I didn't put... No, I got it right here. I got ampersand start. Yeah, but when we were testing it before. Uh, no, that was a different one. That was, that was pound time. Oh. So I'm going to put this ampersand start in here. This is, five, and I think, oops, we still got four minutes? 
<coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what we got. F5. <coughs> so the first one shouldn't work because it's like that. It didn't like it. The second one did work. And let's see what it does. Up. An error. So no. I, but that's a try again. No. So it doesn't like this and, but it did like the pound. That was right here. This one, pound T equals 32. So I can go back to this one, put the pound in here, get rid of this one. And Change let's, it to one minute 40. let's go one minute and 40. Update. F5 that. F5, by the way, for all of you guys watching, is just refresh. It's another way of saying refresh the screen. And there it is, and we're going to play it, and it does jump right there. So that, But you know what's weird? So that was after the link. I, I am skipping the, the commercial. What's that? Oh, no, I, I guess... It was never showing a commercial, huh? No, it was just the intro to the video. Yeah. So let's go back and review what worked here. So um, cutting to the chase and linking to an interesting part, that worked only if you put that on the back of the URL. Right. Okay. Um, oh, what we didn't try is and start 30, putting that on this URL and put 100. Let's, let's see if that does anything. Oh, no, see, this one does give the ad because that's showing it. Oh, right. But I'll still skip the ad in a second. Mm. No. So that, no. that and start didn't work. doesn't work. The pound one did, though. Pound time. So... Let, let me kind of come back at you on this question because we're getting ready to wrap up. But the question was, when we very the very first thing that you asked when we were starting to do this is, who puts these out? Is it Google or is it YouTube? And, and what's the protection on them, right. right? So here's here's my answer to that. And I, I don't know if this is fact, but this is this is pretty close to fact because <laughs> I'm making it up. Well, they put out there. So Google Google allows different codes to be used, right. but they don't release it like as if it's public notice. So they won't say, hey, here's all the things that you can do. You the, can go find it. Yeah, you could find it, and maybe they've got some developers that developers are testing things it. out. And the reason why I think they don't put that public publicly is because they're testing stuff out, and they're like saying, you know, this one's a code is no good any longer. Right. Let's get rid of it. Yeah. And they don't want to have to deal with people's stuff breaking. So I think that's why you have to kind of find out about it in the back end things. Yeah. Yeah. Because they don't want to have to deal with that. And them. actually, we keep talking about Google and YouTube, but it's... You know Google owns YouTube, right? Right, right. Yeah, I mean, so I was, that's what I was going to tell people. That's why it's... It, that's Google what, owns YouTube, but if people talk about YouTube, it's... Yeah. yeah so. so there you go. I, I don't know if that was interesting to you. It was to me. I hope you enjoyed yourself, Bob. Yeah, yep. Yeah, it was good, and uh, hopefully it wasn't too boring, but that's basically what you do when... If you want to figure something out, you just try it and pound on it till it works. Well, we better let the folks and go. Let you know. Yeah. It's, all right. It looks like it's time to go. And uh, so we'll see you next week. All right. Catch you later.